You're listening to the Tom Hartman Program. So what's going on with Blackwater? Um, we're getting all these stories. When I say this isn't, I mean, this is a, a, a systemic problem. The corporate corruption of our political institutions, of our government, that went nuts during the Bush administration. Although it's been it's been an ongoing and increasing problem ever since the Reagan administration, arguably since long before that, but uh, certainly since the Reagan administration. And Jeremy Scahill is with us. His uh, website, rebelreports.com, and uh, he's the award-winning independent investigative journalist and author of the bestseller, Blackwater, The Rise of the World's Most Powerful Mercenary Army. Jeremy, welcome to the show. Welcome back. Thanks for having me back. Great, great having you with us. Um, I've, been, I've been watching your writings recently, and uh, it, it's fi- it finally reached a critical mass where I said, we've got to get Jeremy back and just you know, fill me in on some of this stuff. I'm, I'm looking at these headlines. Germany launches probe into Blackwater CIA assassination plot. Blackwater and the coast bombing is the CIA deceiving Congress. Two Blackwater guards arrested by FBI on murder charges. First of all, let's start at the very biggest picture. What's going on right now with Blackwater, which has reinvented itself as, what, Z services? Right. Well, uh, the Obama administration, uh, Tom, the, the bluntest way to put it, is uh, is continuing to do business with one of the most notorious uh, actors to emerge in uh, the so-called war on terror, supported uh, radically by the Bush administration, placed at the center of some of the United States' most sensitive operations. And what we're seeing is that, uh, with the exception of losing one of its major contracts in Iraq, uh, this company, Blackwater, which wants to call itself Z, or U.S. Training Center, next week it's going to be the Fluffy Bunny Patrol, they'll just continue rebranding, actually continues to uh, do quite a robust business under the Obama administration. And as you mentioned, uh, Blackwater was actually at the center of that CIA outpost at Fort Chapman in uh, Afghanistan. In fact, two Blackwater operatives were among the dead that were counted as CIA operatives, although they were in fact Blackwater employees. Uh, I understand from sources within the company that a third Blackwater operative was injured. Let's remember that that bombing uh, by Mr. al-Balawi was the uh, most devastating attack on a CIA outpost since uh, the 1980s. And so you had three of the uh, of the individuals that were either killed or wounded in this uh, bombing uh, being employed by Blackwater and the man that they were meeting with that day was believed by US intelligence to be what they call the golden goose of an asset someone that was uh, alleged to have just met with Ayman al-Zawahiri the number two man in al-Qaeda so that incident uh, while it should deeply be probed uh, what the Blackwater role is if they were doing security how come this guy got so close to the person that the Blackwater guys were guarding? If they were doing something else, what on earth is Blackwater doing uh, working in that capacity under the Obama administration? Um, but overall, it, it really confirms that Blackwater continues to be really at the center of things when it comes to uh, U.S. war strategy. Well, and my understanding is that the fellow who blew himself up at, at Coast did mm-hmm. so, made a tape beforehand, and did so because he said he was avenging the murder by a CIA drone of uh, mullah in pakistan um who was one of the leaders of the taliban correct in and, fact he said that he uh that he specifically noted uh batula masood who was believed to have been killed in a cia airstrike and in if masood was killed by a cia airstrike it's quite likely that blackwater was part of the team that killed him well, so, that was that was my question was you know is are we seeing here uh, an actor uh, not necessarily a state actor, but uh, you know, are you know Al Qaeda coming now? Now starting to come after Blackwater, or is Blackwater screwing things up? So, I mean, I do you do you see Blackwater's role in this as being benign, or as uh, or a, a perhaps part of the reason or part of the problem here of, of this whole you know this death of these CIA officers? Well, I think that uh, we know that when it first emerged that the Blackwater guys were working on the CIA's drone bombing campaign, and I also reported in The Nation that they were working parallel to that with the U.S. Special Forces under the Joint Special Operations Command doing a parallel bombing campaign in Pakistan, it really caused a lot of anger in the region because 
Uh, Blackwater, of course, is well known for killing civilians in Iraq and Afghanistan and elsewhere. And the idea that this company now is engaged in bombing raids in Pakistan, I think, added uh, fuel to an already uh, fiercely burning fire. Um, this man who attacked that base, uh, if he did know what he was doing and he knew that he was going after really the front line of the U.S. Uh, strategy against Al Qaeda in hitting both the CIA and Blackwater, um, really did tremendous damage that sent a message and shivers up the spine of U.S. intelligence how deep uh, this man was able to penetrate into what should have been an ironclad fortress of U.S. intelligence gathering. Yeah. Uh, grim. And uh, Germany now is looking into Blackwater. That's right. Well, this, Tom, uh, is actually sort of of Eric Prince's own doing, the owner of Blackwater. Uh, he gave an interview to Vanity Fair to a man named Adam Soralski, who himself is a former CIA lawyer that had problems at the agency, and Prince clearly went to him because he viewed him as a sort of kindred spirit or a trusted soul. And Eric Prince uh, informed uh, Vanity Fair that his men had organized in the, uh, in the years after 9-11 what essentially amounted to a secret CIA assassination team that trained not at the farm, the CIA uh, training facility, but at Eric Prince's own home in Virginia. And among the missions, according to Vanity Fair, that Eric Prince's team went on after 9-11 was to go in dark, as they call it, into Germany, meaning they didn't inform the CIA station chief or the German government. They send this team in, and their uh, objective was to try to assassinate a German citizen who was originally born in Syria but was a naturalized German citizen in Hamburg. And so these Blackwater guys reportedly go into Germany with the intent of killing one of their citizens, and then the uh, event was ultimately called off by official U.S. government forces, but the German government is probing why on earth Blackwater was sent into the country without the knowledge of the German government. And one German parliamentarian said, Tom, uh, imagine if Germany hired a front company to go and assassinate U.S. citizens in New Orleans. What would the U.S. government response be? So this is now making it all the way up to the point where uh, some of the top uh, supporters of Angela Merkel's government in Germany are demanding answers from the United States government, and it's because Eric Prince himself uh, put this material out in Vanity Fair. Isn't isn't it a felony to do that? I mean, isn't well, that's that, it, 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 it's an international crime. In fact, is it not? Well, I mean, if you have, if you there's there's two uh, questions of uh, potential this, criminal liability. This, I, I, this kind of goes back to you know James Bond 007. I mean, it's very rare that a, that a spy has right. the authority to kill somebody. Yeah. Well, I mean, look, uh, I, I believe that when the uh, when an if an accurate history is written of this very dark period in U.S. history, we'll find that Eric Prince was doing some of the dirtiest deeds for the Bush administration at the urging of Dick Cheney. He owns a summer home in Wyoming, not far from the Cheneys, and I understand from sources that the two of them hang out. Uh, mm -hmm. We know that Cheney was a big fan of doing things off the books, and so if you have Eric Prince, who's a billionaire, doesn't exactly need the money, uh, freelancing and paying for some of these operations himself, it's the ultimate form of plausible deniability. So are there potential federal crimes that were committed by this? Of course. Uh, but there's also the issue of Eric Prince uh, publicly identifying what certainly, if they were official, were classified operations. And so I would imagine prosecutors are going to want to look into Eric Prince's bragging, uh, which I believe is a form of gray mail, essentially threatening the government and saying, if you want to come after me criminally, prosecute me, audit me, whatever, uh, come at me. But I have a lot of stuff I can tell what I did for you officially and unofficially. Right. So this was this was his his warning, and and just you know to put a punctuation point on this, and we just have a couple seconds left. Blackwater before Bush and Cheney came to office was worth what and was what? It was virtually nothing, wasn't it? Clinton gave them their operating license. They were basically a training firm. They went from doing a couple hundred thousand dollars a year in government business to doing a billion five in no bid contracts in Iraq. 90% of their money, Tom, to this day comes from federal taxpayers in the U.S. Amazing. Jeremy Scahill, rebelreports.com. Thank you, Jeremy. Thank you, Tom.